Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Before the beginning of this episode, I took the liberty of selling most of Helen's weapon mods, just to uh, free up some weight. So, now she is not overburdened like she was before. Also sold a couple weapons that I wasn't using, the Desert Eagle equivalent and uh, some sort of a machete and stuff like that. Just to free up some space, get a little extra money. Don't want to carry around stuff that I don't actually need. I also took the liberty of rooting around in everybody's inventories looking for any clothes that I could pass around, since after the great cockroach steam vent catastrophe of 2015 left most of the party in their underwear. So, I uh, found a bunch of clothes, mostly on Lexcanium. For some reason, he, he just had a bunch of leather vests, and I don't remember why. But uh, I passed that stuff around, so everybody's got decent stuff. Theodore still does not have any pants. And some of the outfits definitely don't look exactly appropriate to the personalities of the characters. But I think Harper's looking pretty cool in his bondage vest. And I don't know about you, but I think Yulia looks fucking badass. Look at that. Black flak vest and the red camo pants. Between that and her hair, I think she looks positively punk. Oh yeah. I also bought 30 rounds of 7.62, because um, I don't actually have much of it. Unfortunately, I've switched most of my weapons over to 7.62. Or I shouldn't say most, but I've switched a lot of my weapons over. Whereas once before, I was using the 5.56. So now I have a bunch of 5.56 just rotting in my inventory, and absolutely no guns with which to use it. Because the M16 used to use this ammo, but now the AK-97 uses the 7.62. So I've got a hundred rounds of the old ammo that I don't use here. Almost a hundred rounds on Theodore, of the same thing. Seven rounds of that on her. Yeah, I've got a bunch of ammo that I just don't use. And not a lot of what I do need to use, because unfortunately at this point, three of my people now use the 7.62 as their main ammo. So the AK-97 on Harper and on Theodore both use it, and then also Vulture's Cry's Weapon. Or Arctic Sniper. So, I don't really like that. Hopefully we can find some different variants of these weapons that use a different kind of ammo. I'm really hoping. Alright, let's take a look around and see what's going on. Ultimate power? <laughs> Whoa, calm down there. Calm down. <laughs> okay, so why are these people standing inside of red squares? This dark-haired, olive-skinned woman quickly scans you for weapons before returning her gaze to the nearby prisoners. Those are prisoners? Oh, right! Their society is based on politeness. So I suppose they just say, politely stay within the confines of this square on the ground, and if you go outside of that, you die? I guess. I've heard of you, gentle rangers. What brings you here? The prisoners? Or looking for the store. How does the jail work? The lines are there so the prisoners know where their cell ends and freedom begins. I'm here because the Robinsons sometimes like to step outside the lines before their time is served. What happens if they don't do their time? I've got orders to stun them and drop them back inside the lines. They get the picture soon enough. Assuming they've got the brains God gave a cockroach. Tell me about the prisoners. Those who are in here deserve to be here. The rules aren't that hard to follow. They get a fair trial with Mr. Manners, and then they get to return to their lives. Well, most of the time. Don't talk to them, please. Isolation is part of their term. Gotcha. 
What do you know about Mr. Manners? Probably nothing new. Um, yeah. What do you know about the Robinsons? The addition of the Robinsons to the Angel has been a challenge for everyone. The sales here fill up a lot faster, but it hasn't led to real violence. At least, not so far. Okay, so let's not talk to the prisoners. Since isolation is part of their term, I don't think they would like it if I did. This should be interesting. should write a guide on how to be polite and a complete dick. A polite dick. Press booth. Hmm? Oh, this is the other side of where I... Yeah, I came up here and then promptly went back down because I didn't want to get caught for being in the, the tunnels. Wait, what's going on here? Someone's yelling at Leo Fat Fingers. Are they talking to me? Are they talking to me? And then, uh, I'm just gonna assume they're talking about me. Goodbye. Hold on, I'm gonna go back and see what they actually said. An uninvited guest? Are you on the visitor list, sir? If not, we'll have to ask you to leave. Everyone will regret it if you don't. They aren't joking, gentle intruder. I saw so Okay, so they, they were talking about me. Gotcha. Okay, okay. This would appear to be the farm. The farm where everybody keeps having mysterious accidents and a corn cob got shoved up someone's ass. Don't dump the fertilizer directly on the plant. <laughs> oh my, he's being very impolite. Fight! 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 They even take themselves to jail. They don't even need an escort to go to jail. They're that polite. Please escort yourself to jail. Gentle prisoner. A teaching from the book. It is rude to forego your personal appearance and the cleanliness of your home. Keep your area clean, brush your teeth twice a day, and shower daily. If you do things right the first time, then you won't be punished for doing them wrong. Have a great day. Yay! A bent spoon. I want to read the description for that. You swear that the longer you stare at the spoon, 
the more bent it gets. Is it one of those magic trick spoons where you like rub the point between the head and the shaft? Uh, that sounded sexual, but you know, it, yeah, there's a head and there's a shaft where you rub the point between the head and the shaft and then the whole thing just droops down. Magic trick. I've seen those before. I can't remember how they're done. I, I think it might have been done with a spoon made out of a special metal that um, like gets really, like has a really low melting point or something. So when you rub it, it creates friction and then heats it up or something. I can't remember. I'm just thinking about rubbing the point between the head and the shaft. Hmm, let's think about that. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I like what this guy has to say, too. Don't mind me, just shoveling goat manure. All day, every day. Oh, I want to help him. I can't. Flora, Gus, Bessie. <laughs> what are you doing to the goat? Jesus. I know my hands are cold, stop butting me. If I had gloves, this job would be a lot easier. Gloves? I don't think I have any. Sounds like you're giving me an implicit quest? This... what the hell? Look, look at his picture. His picture makes him look like the most suave, well-dressed mofo, and yet he's here next to... He's, he's on a farm next to piles of goat shit. Oh, hey, rangers. Come to take a look at these beautiful creatures? Gotta love goats. So noble. Uh, yeah. Noble. You seem to be having trouble with the goats. Yeah, all these goats need to be milked, but they don't like it when my hands are too cold. Well, why don't you warm up your hands? Why are your hands cold? I have a condition, alright? I don't know why they gave the guy with cold hands the milking job, but I don't complain. Well, I mean, I do, but I'm happy to have the work. You know what, I understand this man's plight. Because my hands are cold all the time, and my feet. Just constantly cold. I get it. I do, I get it. What does the milk get used for? We use it for all sorts of things. Drinking, cheese, butter, body paint. Mr. Manners just loves goat products. Hmm. Poisoned goat milk for Mr. Manners? Let's poison everything. Tell me what you know about gentle Mr. Manners. Mr. Manners really loves his goat products. He's a sucker for a nice glass of goat milk. Hmm. You should get some milking gloves. Milking gloves are ribbed for their pleasure. I mean, wait, what? Uh, gosh, that'd be a huge help. I wouldn't have to worry about my cold hands. You don't happen to have any I could, uh, borrow, do you? No. Ah, oh, dang damn it. Oh well. Maybe you could let me know if you find some. Of course. Where the hell am I gonna find milking gloves? You know, I can't get over how freaking cool Yulia looks in those pants. Those pants are awesome. I kinda wanna take off the backpack just so you can see the pants better. Look at that. They're so cool looking. If there was a if there was a wasteland fashion show, Yulia would win it. Hmm. These goats are actually really hard to woo. Actually, woo is probably not the right word. Really hard to talk to. Woo implies I'm trying to like yeah, 
let's not go there. Um, just like the possum situation, though, this might be considered stealing, so I'm going to save before doing this, because I don't want to steal them, I just kind of want to see what happens. Let me put on my Akita figurine. There we go. I don't, I don't know what that did. I mean... Is it following us? No. Maybe if I use... Maybe if I successfully use Animal Whisper on all of them, they won't complain about his lack of milking gloves. Like they won't be they won't mind his cold hands, maybe. Maybe I'm taming them. Oh no. I just failed once and that and I can't even try again? It wasn't even a critical failure. God damn it, Flora. Did that help? I guess not. Oh well, got some XP. The black fields of solar panels line these sections of the stadium, and their batteries hum and crackle as they absorb the sun's power. Ooh. <laughs> might want to might want to cut away the leaves here. Lindy Lou, how you do? Why is it like, I feel like almost every, every woman I've met here has like, a wedding dress and a gun in her hand or something. Well hey there rangers, aren't you a bunch of strapping young guys and gals? Any chance I could convince you to help me with the ventilators? What's wrong with them? The fans are missing a couple of blades, and the people who built it used metric instead of standard. Well, let's be honest, metric is just better. Can you run up to the general store and see if they've got the spare pieces I requested? We've just got stale air blowing through the vents otherwise. Tell me about the vents. Describe them to me. They keep the interior spaces a little cooler and help clear out the... fresh sense of humanity. It's already pretty limited due to all the blocked vents, so that's why I need to get this fan moving again. The vents are blocked? Some are, to keep the roaches out. They crawl up from the steam tunnel, steam tunnels, get into the food, hurt people. We just had to block up one in the barracks. That's what got Fletcher in so much trouble. He left food, old clothes, all kind of mess out. And the roaches came through right by his bunk. What are the steam tunnels? Pretty ingenious bit of engineering from before the end. Every part of the stadium is connected by tunnels below ground, and all the old ventilation and energy equipment is down there. You want to get somewhere fast, you go through the tunnels. As long as you don't mind some arthropod... um... arthropod attention. Roaches. Yuck. Oh, how bad can roaches be? We've already killed them. <sighs> Not a lot shakes me, but looking down the maw of a giant roach isn't my idea of a good time. Got your bag. So, was it Gitlin who took it? Nope. The thief was a man named Runyon. Runyon? Really? Never would have thought he had it in him. Well, thanks for getting my tools back. Here, let me give you a little something for finding it. Thank you. Standard vent, just sucking and blowing all day long. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You have a cool name. Elizaveta. Are you wearing a wedding dress in your picture and a gun, too? Oh, I can't talk to you. <laughs> You're busy at the moment. B busy doing what? You're just standing. Jesus Christ. No, seriously, is that Jesus Christ? 
This crucifix looks more pagan and less Christian. It also looks like the scarecrow on it might be made of wicker lashings and human bones. Um, also, the scarecrow is not very effective because there's a crow right there. Can I use Animal Whisper on the crow? I can't even select the crow. Can't even select the crow, so I suppose that's a no. Roger E. How ye doing? Hello again. Um, we have met, correct? What are you doing in the corn and poppy field? Don't get a lot of visitors here. The air makes us all a little loopy. Uh, my name's Roger. Roger Lee. Or Roger Yee, rather. Did I say that already? What is wrong with you? What kinds of visitors do you get down here? Just us workers, mostly. I'd probably remember if someone came through. Probably. Pr uh, I, I said probably already. Damn it, Roger. Knock it off. Keep it together. Can I just keep asking the same question? <laughs> Can I just keep asking the same question? Anyway, so these are poppies? Oh yeah, you can see the syrup coming from the buds right now, can't you? These flowers are... <laughs> they're like a free trip to dreamland. We use them to make morphine and painkillers. You getting high on your own supply? Because you seem kind of high. Tell me about the corn. Delicious, nutritious, and just terrible for the soil. A real water hog. Good thing we've got all those goats for fertilizer. Hmm. Ooh, are those strawberries? The tomatoes here are outrageously big, and they smell great. Those are tomatoes? The... What? Tomato plants don't look like that. Those look like strawberries. And if those were tomatoes, those would not be ridiculously big. Those are pretty normal. Like, roughly the size of someone's fist. Huh. Nice piece of kit there. Don't know what it is. Thresher, thingy, something. I don't know. I've seen like an hour of farm simulator. And I know I've seen that thing in Farm Simulator. I don't remember what it's called, though. Oh my. Yeah, the uh, the Robinsons and the Manorites definitely don't peacefully coexist. Camera's funky over here. Hello there, Gene Kronk. I don't think I need whatever you're selling, Rangers. Okay. So, um, where's this, uh, Fletcher dude? Shouldn't he be the prisoners? But there's no one actually named Fletcher there. 
Maybe I would need to talk to him to figure out which ones are Fletcher, or... Oh, there he is. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not sure if I'm allowed in here. Let's see. Well, I guess I can talk to him. Hello, Mr. Fletcher. I like your facial hairstylings. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you can intercede for me. I have been wrongfully imprisoned. Why are you imprisoned? I kind of already know, but... Mr. Manners must know I'm innocent. He must. I admit, I did fail to wash my shirt a couple weeks in a row. I, I did fail to pick up my room. And it did apparently lead to a roach infestation. But it wasn't deliberate. I've just been depressed. Ask my wife. I'm usually very clean, and I can be again. Who's your wife? Oh, her name is... Elizaveta Shestakova. Aiden, you can usually find her up in the farm near the solar collectors. She and Mr. Manners are good friends, which is why I don't understand this. Surely he wouldn't want her to be unhappy. And what could make her more unhappy than the execution of her husband? <gasps> is there some sort of an affair love triangle thing going on? Why have you been depressed? It... It's personal. I... Well... My wife. She's been keeping to herself lately. She won't talk to me. And she won't say why. I'm afraid I've failed her in some way, but she won't tell me how. It's really got me in a state. What happened with the roaches? Came out of the steam tunnels? Mm-hmm. How can we help? Just tell Mr. Manners I'm innocent. I'll wait here patiently until he sets me free. What do you know about Mr. Manners? I know he'll free me if I could just get a moment to talk to him. Please, could you visit his quarters and beg him to hear me out? He lives in the booth just up the stairs. Right over there by the jail. In the booth, just up the stairs. Where? Here? I guess it's probably here. But they told me to leave. So, yeah. Um, maybe I can get a meeting with Mr. Manners? Echo 1, Whoa. this is Santa Fe Base. Come in. This is Echo 1. Go ahead. Over. Roger, Echo 1. Got a distress call from a house of pleasure near your location. Owner says God's militia have killed several women and are cleansing sinners as they come in the door. Oh my god. I can't... I do one thing and then I get called away to another place and I'm leaving everything half finished. Sending coordinates to you now. Confirm. Culver City Brothel. Confirmed. Over. 10-4. And, uh, your call on this one, Echo One. But personally, I'm siding with the ladies. Well, yeah, no shit. Santa Fe base out. I don't think they deserve to be murdered for being sex workers. I guess I should go there right now? If, if I go there, is Fletcher gonna be executed? A teaching from the book. Force is the last word in an argument. I'm just gonna pause the game just in case there's a timer going on right now. No, sorry, I'm gonna stay here. I need I need to finish something. Or like nothing's ever gonna get done and I'm just gonna leave a trail of dead bodies. I don't know what I don't know what here actually has timers and what doesn't. 
but I'm just gonna stay. Let's not argue. Have a great day. Hmm. These are locked for some reason. This isn't considered a crime, is it? Unlocking a border body? Why is there a toy lightsaber? What the f <laughs> What? Why would there be a toy lightsaber in a border body? Another bent spoon? Cool. I think a, a Robinson is teaching a Manorite how to curse. A defective surplus U.S. military grenade. I think I've already read that before. Mr. Palladino, I have your watch. I remember Mr. Manor's dad. Boy howdy, did he get rude when he died. Too bitter for the stew pot, he said. Hey, kid, do me a favor, will you? Uh, what kind of favor? Listen, I used to be a civility enforcer back in the day, and I remember an old dentist's office out west. They had all kind of supplies, including denture paste. Well, I need some of that gunk to glue my teeth in so I can eat. You get it for me. I'll get you some sweet gear. You up for it? Sure. You'll go far with an attitude like that, kid. I like you. Here, I'll mark the spot on your map. Will I like you too, old man? What is denture paste? I, I guess I'll ask. I know what it is. It's a paste that you use to hold in your dentures. Glue for fake chompers. Mm-hmm. Tell me about Mr. Manners. Real spitfire. Mm-hmm. Yep. Gunny cat litter. Nope. Here, we found your watch. I want to see what he gives me. What's it going to be? Oh, he didn't give it to me yet. I always, like, most of the time I miss what people give me because it pops up at the top of the screen. So I need to actually look there. Alright, well, it wasn't Gitlin. It was a man named Runyon. 150 scrap. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got it back. You wouldn't believe where my grandfather kept this watch during the war. Here, have a few scrap for your trouble. Where did he keep it? Those are really interesting names. Arthi Rabindranath. R Rabindranath. Arjuna Rabindranath. I guess there are a couple. Oh, whoa. Sheriff Marshall caught me with dandruff on my shirt again. <laughs> I'm sure to get the axe next month. What? I would never do that. Oh, wait, you're talking about the other person. Maybe there is another way. The Ranger way. What the hell? Why are there footprints? Was that there before? Huh? I guess I just never noticed it. Why are there super obvious footprints going into the vent? Was that there before? Well, oh, there's 
pair of relatively fresh tracks leading towards the farm. A pair of footsteps on either side of tracks look like someone was being dragged away against his will. Okay. Anyway, let's solve your problems the ranger way. And, um, you might want to... Well, unfortunately, because of problems in the past, we have to have you sign this contract here that says, basically, if it ends up with everybody killing everybody, um, we take no responsibility. We've had some issues with the ranger way in the past. Just, you know, normal procedure. Oh, crap, it's the rangers. Uh, I mean, it's a pleasure to meet you, gentle rangers. We weren't talking anything bad, honest. It sounded like you were discussing premeditated murder. Mm hmm? You got it all wrong, Rangers. We were just joking. Right, Mary? Oh yeah, it was all in good fun. You see, you got nothing to worry about, Rangers. Edna's a good friend of mine. We were just gonna pull a little prank on her. That's all. God damn it, I don't have hard-ass level 8. Damn it, Angela! Why did you have to go and die? Why do you think you're doomed? Caught me with dandruff on my shirt again. She gave me another demerit. If she catches me again, I'm sure to get executed next month. Unless, maybe you can help? What kind of help? I don't suppose you have any shampoo on you? <laughs> I've got a pretty bad scalp condition. And no matter how many times I wash my hair, I just can't get rid of my dandruff. What kind of shampoo? Head and shoulders, I guess? I'm not picky, I'll take anything you can find. Although once, when I was on scavenging duty, I came across an empty... Uh, an empty bottle of Hair and Shoulders Dandruff Shampoo. <laughs> Non-copyright infringing Hair and Shoulders? Sure. If you can find me some of that, I can get rid of my dandruff once and for all. I'd march right up to the sheriff and shove my hair right in her face. I... I don't think anti-dandruff shampoo makes your dandruff permanently disappear. But, um, sure. I have no idea where I'd find any, but sure. If I ever come across any. Let me guess, it's inside of one of the toasters that I need to repair? There's something there, too. I need to go back there. Is this where Mr. Manners lives? Seems too small, but I can climb up there if I want to. Poncho. And looks like that is the entire point of coming up here. Alright, back down. Oh, wait, what the hell? The civilian enforcer dude's down. Somebody dragged away Fletcher? This is very serious, but before that, I need to check out my poncho. Stay warm with this cozy poncho and neckerchief combo. Yeah. Actually, if anything, it probably fits Helen more. Because right now she's wearing some weird-ass pink thing which does not fit her. Let's try this. Yeah, that's better.
Ow, my head. Um, okay. The guard's aquiline features are plastered with a seemingly permanent cast of chagrin. To be fair, he may never live down Fletcher's escape. Mm. Two gas power tractors are... Stop talking. Fuck. I'm never going to be able to read this because everybody's talking now. Two gas-powered tractors are at each corner with a large chainsaw attached to each. The saws feed through the openings, but two... Oh, fuck it. Everybody's talking. Whatever. Okay, so somebody dragged him into the vent. Into the sewers. Great. Alright, hold on. What is this? Something seems to be buried here. Greenbacks! We're rich. Excuse me, sir, did you see anything? I guess not. Blind ass mofo. You must have seen something. You were standing here the whole time. And you're his wife? Uh, okay, bye. The fuck? You must have seen something. Uh, okay, apparently not. Bye. I guess I need to go back in. So let's. <laughs> that means I'm gonna have to brave the steam again. Oh god, I'm gonna have to take off my clothes. Alright, um. Should I repair the vent before I go down there? It probably doesn't matter. Alright, we're heading back in. Come on, Rangers, chop chop. Hold it right there, gentle rangers. Please, or else my men will... Pu uh, what? Our prisoner, Erwin Fletcher, escaped from his cell in the commons. I know, I'm going to go catch him. I'm going to go into the place that I'm not allowed and go past the, the um, cockroaches that I wasn't supposed to kill and... um Oh, shit. I mean... Kind of funny that you'd show up and he'd disappear. Suspicious, even. Hey, shut up, me. I didn't do it, trust me, because I'm you, me, me, you, I, tr yeah. So here's the deal. You will kindly pick one of your, one of your merry little band to be our hostage. And then you will go find Fletcher. Please. If you find Fletcher and bring him home, alive, you can have your friend back. If you kill him, or fail to bring him back, well... We promised an execution, and it's just as easy to use a stranger implicated in the escape of the accused. Might even be a better example. You follow? Suspicious? Us? I have reports from very reliable mannerites that you were conversing with the fugitive recently. That's true. Any clues? At the risk of doing your job for you, you could check out the area around the cage for any leads. Already done. I'm better than you, me. Better than me, you. God, Marshall's such a dick. What do we get if we find him? We could probably work out a deal with you. How about we give you access to the radio if you impress us with your work on this? Well, now, what's so special about your radio? Thanks to our scavenging teams, we've put together the parts to make one of the most powerful radios in all of California. If you truly are the lawbringers you claim to be, then it would behoove you to get your message out to a wider audience. True. Okay. Well, this is not even a hard decision. Hmm, who do I want to have stay as a hostage? Bye, Lexcanium. If your team wishes to speak with Mr. Manners, then go ahead. I will place them on the visitor list.
And now Harper is overloaded. Attention, gentle citizens. It has been brought to my attention that Fletcher had the audacity to escape. Please keep your eyes peeled and report any suspicious activity to your nearest civility enforcer. Until this manner is resolved, the execution will be placed on hold. Seeing as our guests, the Desert Rangers, are lawmen, they will be assisting in the investigation. One of the Desert Rangers has even graciously volunteered to take Fletcher's place until Fletcher is found and returned, alive. I'm sure this will provide proper motivation for them to return our friend Fletcher in a timely manner. Good day. Well, all the cockroaches should be dead, so we should have an easier time of it this time. And I can see everywhere. Because I've already been everywhere. Although, um... I don't think I would actually see people. No, I guess I wouldn't show up until I came into the room. I can just see the environment. Anyway, before this episode ticks on over an hour, I think I should end it before it becomes too long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I will go find Fletcher and hopefully make a good name for the Rangers. And hopefully not get all of our clothes burned off in the steam.